Mr. Surridge. Mr. Anderson's pretty cool. I like Miss Kosh. Mr. Miners. Mr. Burr. Miss Ward. Miss Lydum. Miss LaFaber. Miss Babunski. Yeah, same. Surridge. Mr. Horrible. Mr. Paddy. Miss LaFaber. Anderson. Anderson. And uh, I like Cherry because he bullies Nash. Mr. Paddy. Miss Cleary. Brochure. Miss Allen. Had stuff. Miss Daysoft. Mr. Abraham. Miss Holland. Miss Davies. Brochure. Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson. Miss Brochure. 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 There she is. Miss Brochure. Brochure. I am the only ones that would put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Ten o'clock. Mr. D. Miners. Miss Pabonski. Miss James. Miss James. Yep. Mr. Warp. Mr. Moore. 100%. Lisa Barber. Miss Mayer. Mama Hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Oh, Mike, Miss Daddy. Silvers. Miss Daddy. Miss Sir Shamwell. Sir Shamwell. Mr. Sheldon. Mr. Sheldon. <laughs> Miss Jardy. Miss Cleary. Miss Inkalingo. Yeah, Mr. Moore. Mr. Hollywood, oh, Hollywood and Miss Inkalingo. Mr. Tenikoff. Mr. Tenikoff. Okay. And Miss Moses. Dead. 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 Preferably, I'd be dead. Being a lawyer, hopefully. Hopefully in a hospital, but being the doctor. In a house that I built. In 10 years, I want to have finished my uni degree and I want to have <laughs> be married with kids because I'll be 27 <laughs> and I'll be having my 10 year reunion. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> really rich, probably like living in like Italy or something. Yeah. Yeah. At a movie set? Literally, on the streets, struggling. <laughs> struggling. Just owning a ton of horses. Yeah. yeah. Stable life. <laughs> <laughs> Overseas work or social work, refugee crisis. Uh, well, I'd like to have my own studio and work as an audio engineer. Uh, pro drone pilot. Famous on TV. Getting to see like most of the peers that I wouldn't normally see. Yeah, that's true. It's people you usually wouldn't talk to, but you talk to because of school. They just talk to you differently. Yeah, teachers are nice. Yeah, they're waiting. Yeah. Friends. Study periods. Early, da early days on Thursday. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Early days Thursday. No sport, you know, head home on a Thursday yeah, afternoon. Yeah. The social aspect. Yeah. The teachers actually like like you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Study periods. Uh, the last week, honestly, that's been my favorite bit. Yeah. I love the extensive <laughs> studying um, and the fact that I fail the majority of my classes. I don't even I think that they put too much pressure on yourself. Mr. Moore said to me, like, just relax because it won't matter after the HSC. Yeah. Like you do the HSC and then you're done. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best advice was like don't take your marks personally and just like focus on what you can improve instead of what you got wrong. I think that was good advice. Wise words from Matthew Haribel. If you don't think you can do it, give up while you're ahead. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Mr. Sheldon, like you're wearing the wrong socks, you'll be spending sport and lunch time with me. Serious. Mr. Ibrahim once told me, with great power comes great responsibility, and I was like, I've never heard that before, but that seems like, that seems like a really kind of universal truth. <laughs> that really stuck with me. I'll give a piece of Miss Moses' advice as well. She told me, I, I find it really hard to study for art theory, so she told me, she, she asked first, what was my favourite food? I answered with sushi, and she told me to, every time I answer one of the questions right, eat a piece of sushi. And that's just really helped me, like, get through my study. <laughs> Also, like, don't be a naughty muffin. Mr. Haravel in the Open Boys Soccer, if you score more goals on the other team, you win. Yeah. <laughs> There's always another way into things. Like, don't have your mind set on one goal and not have backup plans, because otherwise you let yourself down. Just put the effort in and it'll show in your results. Get sleep. Everyone's in the same boat. Yeah. Everyone is. Help each other. Start putting the year sevens in bins. The social life. Yeah, yeah, social. Back to the school. My friends. My friends. Yeah, Being at school. Not Mr. Muller. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. yeah, I will miss Mr. Sheldon's weekly sport announcements. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wearing the correct socks with the green line around Oh, there. yeah. What am I going to do with my school socks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think just like the routine of going to school every day. Having yeah. like just a... Yeah. Like, a thing to do each day. Like an everyday routine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cherry's oh, jokes cherries. in geography. Oh. <laughs> oh, these chairs. These chairs? Oh. These chairs. You can back on them. Oh, there we go. Lunch times. Yeah, lunch time recess. <laughs>
My friends. Same yes. friends. Yes. And the structure. Yes. God, it's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> People that you don't necessarily hang out with outside of school, but you like seeing as part of your daily like yeah, interaction. Yeah, like people that add to your daily experience, experience and like bring joy to your life, but you don't necessarily <laughs> see outside of school. Chaotic. Eventful. Different. Fantastic. Exhilarating. Inconceivable. Exhilarating. Undefinable. <laughs> Exquisite. Good. Unique. Great. Roller coaster. Exciting. Stressful. Fun. Yeah. Nervous. Stressful. Unending. Roller coaster. Yeah. Stressful. <laughs> Effort. Boring. Pointless. Effort. Tricycle. Fatic. Chaotic. Blue. Stressful. <laughs> Fun. Stressful. A lot. Car. Oh. Overwhelming. <laughs> Rewarding. Hectic. Different. Roller coaster. Oh. Boring. Pain. Suffer. Indescribable. Thrilling. Exhilarating. Interesting. Pain. Freedom. Unorganized. Anticlimactic. Uh, Fun! When I face planted at the school carnival. <laughs> My favorite memory of like younger years is like Rachel's like really preppy like bows, like the JoJo bows. Yeah, that's probably my favorite memory. Thanks. Him Amazing. learning how to ride a tricycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite memories would probably be uh, playing Terraria on the quad when we were like in your so seven. I will, that's my favorite memory yeah, as well. That, that was the start OGAs. of Connor Josh friendship. That was, that was. Uh, my favorite memory is being in year 11 drama with Mr. Andrews, best drama teacher ever, as well as Miss Simons. <laughs> um, good save, good save. But what we did with Mr. Andrews is we had to pretend to be rhinoceroses and decide who was the most dominant, dominant rhinoceros. Anyway, I managed to be the most dominant rhinoceros, and we charged around the school like rhinos, and everyone followed me, and it was really funny. And y'all did that genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were in the bathroom, and then um, it was like slippery, and I tried to get Tina to slip on the soap, and I got karma, and I slipped on the soap. <laughs> <laughs> but you tried to throw it on me, and then yeah. <laughs> Probably when Renzo threw a sprint oh, yeah, in, really cool. in the maths bathroom, and threw or on. Kane flew down the stairs oh, on a boogie board. Oh yeah. yeah. Or the tractor. Meeting near the swimming line in Year Seven. In her mm. rainbow onesie. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Lunchtime soccer. Friday afternoon, going out every single Friday and getting yogurt, yogurt berry. <laughs> or going to Paddy's. The time me and Faith were like really getting deep into our personal lives and up in oh, like yeah. the computer lab to only realise that like the, 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 the wall is like paper thin and yeah. you heard that whole conversation. <laughs> really My favourite memory was the year where I was selling all the chocolate boxes for SRC oh and God. we kept on like finding Mr. Hurst wherever he was like regardless of if he was in the staff room or if he was in the quad we'd just like pester him and be like please buy our chocolate he and got he was, so mad at us yeah he got so mad but also in that same week we convinced Miss Stasos to buy chocolates even though she really didn't want to and it was just she like, worth, like $10 like, like, yeah it was like a, a chocolate entrepreneur there was this oh it was like last day of like year 10 and like me and Aaliyah were like like skipping down the hallway and saying like literally like yelling Sayonara and then <laughs> Paulus walked around the corner and was like Sayonara girls We made a carrot Oh <laughs> we did make a carrot We planted we a carrot We planted a carrot, we planted and, a carrot. and it grew over the holidays in the flower beds in the quad, we planted a carrot and we came back and here was a carrot. <laughs> it existed. Fully grown carrot. And we ate it. It was amazing. Fun. Beautiful. Painful. Dynamic. Dodgy. Cheeky. Lazy. Fun. Lively. Charismatic. Painful. Talented. Testing. No, I'm kidding. They have, um, and I genuinely mean this, one of the most beautiful and rewarding cohorts that I've ever worked with. Do some work. Think outside the box. Dream big. Make sure you hold on to each other and um, be friends forever because you've got a really unique bond now and that will carry you all the way through the rest of your lives. I think as cliche as it sounds, I think um, be true to yourself, what you want out of life, what you want to do, what makes you happy, follow it no matter what. You can achieve what you put your mind to, even if you don't think so, so just keep trying. Yeah.
And Shakespeare has a really great quote for all three of those sentiments if you want to go and find one. Just keep following your dreams guys and that's a little bit cliche but just always strive to achieve your absolute best, never stop trying and wish you all the best in the future. Try and stay optimistic throughout life, always have a plan but at the same time don't forget to focus on happiness as your goal in life. Stick to what you believe in um, and the roundabout is not that interesting. <laughs> Leave the roundabouts alone. <laughs> Do something that you love um, or pick a career where it doesn't feel like that you're going to work every day, kind of like being your year advisor. Um, I genuinely love coming to work every day and it doesn't feel like a chore and so that's my best advice for the future. Just be good people and kindness always wins. Um, I think this past year I've tried to instill in you guys the idea that life is what you make of it. So, you know, put as much effort in as you can and really make each moment worth it. It's very deep. Yeah, <laughs> typical English teacher yeah. talks a lot. I was going to say <laughs> smile. Least favourite and also favourite, Kano the Volcano, McFarlane. Um, did entertain me often. Uh, favourite Bo Ward, least favourite um, Bryson because he cut me off in the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to be sitting on the fence on this one. I really don't have a favourite. I've never had favourites, um, but I can say this is one of my favourite cohorts as a whole. Like, I've had a lot to do with you guys um, from year 7 up until year 12, so there's a lot of love and a lot of, uh, what was it, most hated students that there was. There's some of those <laughs> sprinkled in there, but you know, generally, you know, it's a lot of love for you all. I feel like because I had him for extension one and extension two, I have to say Connor Phelan. It's been great seeing his creativity and his English skills develop over the past two years. I have two year 12 classes, so I love them. Um, and I was fortunate enough to basically teach most of them from year 10. So they're all favorites. Tyler Madden with a microphone and an audience. <laughs> Least favourite. <laughs> favourite? All of them, other than Tyler Madden with a microphone <laughs> and an audience. <laughs>
say 